Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Gadda. So today we will be discussing how we can implement the API gateway in the microservice architecture and call all the microservices through the API gateway. So that is the main uh, topic of today discussion. So I'm going to create one API gateway and I will register this API gateway to the Eureka server and then what I will do, I will just call the microservices that I already implemented using the API gateway. So this is the agenda of the today's video. So uh, if you don't know how you can create the microservices and how you can uh, register them to the Eureka server, then you can watch uh, the video on my uh, YouTube channel. So it's already there. So apart from that, what I can say is uh, I already implemented uh, the microservices and I registered that microservices to the Eureka server. Okay. So that part I'm not going to cover. And from there after, I'm just going to implement the API gateway and I will register this API gateway to the Eureka server and then we'll call this mic already implemented microservices through the Eureka, through the API gateway. Okay. So I already like, I already have two videos on my channel, like how we can call one microservices from the other microservice and how we can register these microservices to the Eureka server. So if you don't have any idea, then you can uh, watch those videos. And if you know how you can do it, then uh, if you are here for the API gateway implementation, then yeah, you can continue from here. So I'm just going to open the IntelliJ here. So uh, I will show you, I have implemented one, uh, one microservice and it's a simple my simple microservice named as a microservice one here i have created one git api okay and it is returning uh, the microservice one simply and this microservice is up on 9091 and i have registered this microservice to the uh, eureka server okay and the name of the microservice is microservice one so this is up on uh, port 90091. 90, okay, and then now coming to the other service, microservice 2. So I have implemented this microservice 2, and uh, I have called the microservice 1 inside this microservice 2. Okay, so it is here, you can see. Uh, I have uh, what I can say it's microservice 2, and uh, I have created the REST template. And using the REST template, I was just calling the microservice 1 here. So you can see microservice 1 is uh, having up on 9091 okay and this application is up on 9092 and its name is microservice 2 and it's uh, connected to the eureka server okay now coming to the controller so here i'm just uh, calling the microservice one inside the microservice 2 and yeah this is also up and uh, i will go to the eureka service so eureka service i have uh, created this uh, application as a eureka server and did this configuration here and uh, it's up on 8761 which is a default for, port for the Eureka server and its self registry is false and all so I um, did those things and uh, it's up also so coming back to the uh, browser I can show that uh, those things are up here in my machine so you can see here so Eureka server is up on 8761 port okay and you can see those two microservices is also really registered here just give me a moment sorry for the disturbance guys yeah so i can uh, you can see that eureka server is up on 8761 and uh, the microservice 1 and microservice 2 is also registered to the eureka server okay and it's up on 9091 so coming back here so what i am going to show is uh, how we are calling one uh, microservice inside the other service okay so that also you can see so here uh, 9092 we have the get api okay and if you will uh, see how it is implemented i can show you so you can see here i'm just calling the using the rest template i'm calling the first api and then whatever coming from the first api i'm storing it to the str and then concatenating the second uh, microservice 2 and microservice 1 and this just returning those things so this is what we are getting here into the uh these things okay and coming back to the first microservice we can also see if it is working fine or not so coming to this localhost 9091 and then 
hello is the API for that okay so just see it is also up microservice one so everything is working fine okay and now what I will do I'm just going to create one application which will work like a API gateway and will register this API gateway to the Eureka server and then we'll try to call these two microservices using the API gateway so that is the motive okay so I'm just going to create that so I'm having the IntelliJ ultimate I think yeah so that is why I'm just going to create from here otherwise you can go to the string starter in the browser and then create the application from there so it's a API get gateway sorry it's API gateway service I would say and then okay API gateway services and uh, now we need spring web for this okay and then what other things we need is uh, we need Eureka server discovery client for this and we also need the uh, spring cloud okay or what you can say spring gateway sorry yeah spring gateway so spring it's come under the spring cloud routing so this three dependency we need just create it in a new window so <coughs> uh, let's start okay it is not opening to the maven type of structure for me uh, so I'm just going to close and again restart it so open recent API gateway services okay new so uh, I think this will work okay just getting some time yeah load the manual project and then uh, once it is loaded perfectly then we can start developing the API gateway so it's a more or less configuration that we need to do nothing much okay so it's about the configuration uh, that we have to do into the applic uh, this properties file application dot properties file okay uh, there is another way of uh, implementing the API gateway uh, which is the Java implementation way but here I'm just uh, I'm just going to do the application like we are just going to configure that API gateway in the application dot YAML file or application dot properties file okay so before that yeah so we need to do some configuration here okay and just uh, trying to create one file which is application dot YML okay now uh, we should name this first and then try to register it with the Eureka server so this is a spring dot application name something like that yeah so name it like API gateway something like that API get gateway yeah so we named it like API gateway and now I'm just going to register it on the server dot port okay uh, just uh, let it be like this server because we need other implementation of the spring so I'm just putting the server dot port on first and then uh, with this with the spring uh, yeah so what we got what we did is we just uh, register the port and then we just name the application and now I will try to run it and then see if it is registering to the Eureka server or not once it is registered to the Eureka server then we'll try to develop uh, there is a no much development here guys so basically we just need to make some configuration how we are going to call uh, the other APIs or the other uh, microservices using the API gateway so configuration is the thing that we need to do so coming back to the Eureka server uh, just refresh it so you can see API gateway is registered here okay 
now going back to the uh, you can see right uh, now coming back to the <laughs> IntelliJ API gateway so what we need to do we need to made some, made some configuration right so I'm just going to configure cloud here spring cloud okay so its name is like spring oh sorry spring dot cloud dot gateway uh, sorry gateway dot routes okay so we can provide more than one routes okay so here I'm just uh, uh, going to give two routes because we are going to call uh, two microservices here using the API gateway so we need to give the ID for that okay and then ID I'm just going to mention the name of the microservices that we have provided so coming back to the uh, microservice one you can see uh, in the application dot properties file I have named it like microservice one so that thing I'm going to do there ID should be microservice one and uh, Okay, and then URL we need to provide. Okay, so what should be the URL? That is URI, sorry, yeah. And it should be why it is coming like this. Okay, just give me some time. URI. Okay, there is a space between this. Okay, and then it should be load balancer and then microservice one. And now we need to provide the path okay so path of the API is that we are going to hit predicates and uh, so that we need to provide the path that is so uh, like the common path we need to provide for the gateway uh, for the APIs okay so I'm going to the API one uh, or the microservice one you can see here I have only one API which is hello if you have the common API then you can provide that thing so I have only one API which is uh, hello so I'm going to copy this and here after whatever API you are going to implement you can directly call through the gateway so common API name you need to provide here okay that is hello and then whatever after this it can take if you put the double star here similar we need to provide for the microservice 2 also so id and these things okay microservice 2 microservice 2 and uh, for microservice 2 the path was hello 2 okay so i'm just going to do that and we are good with it but why this is coming i need to check it and then we can <coughs> try it out so the first one it is done what about the second one okay just let me run and then see Okay, URI this microservice one reader. Uh, it's a bit tricky here uh, because uh, what I can say is it's a space separated thing. Like it, if we are not going to use the correct space, then it won't work. So that is why it is not working. So not a problem. We'll try to see why it is not working and then we'll fix it out okay 
okay not a problem uh, I already have implementation of this so I'm just going to copy paste there so it's a PI gateway and this and the port was that and we are registering to the local host so sometime it is not working so just going to do that and if you need this please comment below so that I can paste those things into the comment section so here you can see because of the space I think it was not working so uh, we can directly yeah you can use this I will provide these things there in the comment and uh, yeah we are good with it so I'm just going to run it again and then we'll see so <sighs> You can see it is up on 9093 and uh, coming back to the Eureka also you can see how it is performing. So it is registered to the Eureka as well on 9093. Now we need to call either the first API or the second API using the API gateway. So API gateway is up on port number 9093. So I'm going to call the port number 9093 and from there you can directly call either a P, either a microservice one or microservice two so the microservice one for microservice one what we had made is uh, its api is hello and for microservice two the api is hello two okay and here also we have configured those thing only id we have configured as the microservice one which is the name of the service one and here the url we have configured okay and the path we have configured like hello and for the microservice 2 it is hello 2 so we have configured everything here and now i'm just going to call the microservice 1 from the api gateway so i'm just going to call hello so here you can see it is microservice 1 is coming which is also the microservice 1 returning okay so coming back to the 9091 you can see it is a microservice 1 and is returning microservice 1 and same using the api gateway we can call the microservice one and it is running the microservice one coming back to the microservice two how we can call the microservice two from the uh, api gateway so that is 9093 and now uh, the api for microservice two is hello two so hit it so you can see this is what uh, microservice two is returning so here you can see microservice two is returning the same so i think yeah we are good with the development guys uh, so if you like this video please uh, hit the like button and please subscribe my channel for this uh, type of content thank for support